can't handle the truth. Today, I'm going to be going over some very important information. I'm going to find a way for everybody to get these pictures. And all I want you guys to do is share them. You don't need to subscribe to my channel. You don't need to like this video. You don't even need to comment in the comment section. I do want you guys to share this information. That is very important to me. Okay, so I spent my time creating this picture. And yes, I use the word creating because I created this picture. Me, JTEC TV. I created a picture that did not exist. I created a huge source of information and facts that did not exist until yesterday. I could have did a live stream, which I've already went over the statistics that a lot of my subscribers don't know that I'm doing a live stream because YouTube doesn't send out notifications. But a lot of trolls and haters, they come to my live stream. So instead of playing games for trolls and haters that won't like my content anyway, I said, let me make a picture that is not only going to destroy all the trolls and haters opinions of the PS4's game collection this year, but it's, on, it's only going to make Next Gen 720 and Crap Gamer cry a little bit more today in their podcast with Mooch and whoever else sits in there just talking to other dudes, not playing no games due to the fact that as you can see, they have no games. They have none. Now, before we go over exclusives, I want everybody to understand the multiplats are very important because last gen, they were the reason why the Xbox 360 was selling more than the PS3. It wasn't because the games were that good. It's just because the developers had more time with the Xbox 360 and they were more used to it. When the PS3 came around, developers didn't want to put in that extra effort. But as we can see this generation, they need to. And they needed that extra power. And they're using that extra power. And they're going to put forth that extra effort. And not only gamers, but journalists understand that. And that is why when a consumer that does not own a PS4 or Xbox One, they go to a game store, they go to Walmart, they go to Target, they go to Best Buy. They will pick the PS4 over the Xbox One. And facts show that. Links will also be in the description just in case you guys don't understand. The PS4 beat the Xbox One in June of 2015, this year, the same month of E3 in United States sales. And it beat it in May. And it beat it in January, February, and March. April is the only month that the PS4 did not beat the Xbox One in the United States sales. But the Xbox One has not won a worldwide victory ever since the PS4 and the Xbox One both launched in 2013. That right there is facts. Around the world, nobody gives two shits about an Xbox One. And that's why Microsoft's trying so hard to win the United States, which is proving even more difficult. And it will prove more difficult if this information gets out to the public. I need everybody to help me out. Really, I just really need everybody's help. I don't come to you guys a lot begging you at the end or the beginning of my videos to subscribe. I don't beg you guys to like my videos. I do beg for participation in the comments section so I can know the feedback so I can change and evolve my channel where it needs to be. But I really need everybody to get this picture out. I need everybody to study this picture. Because there are games on the PS4 side that a lot of your friends might not know are coming out. And a lot of your friends will like. They will enjoy these games. As you can see, there's not a single, and this is the funniest part of this comparison of 2015 exclusives 
There's not a single Japanese RPG on the Xbox One this year. Now, let me ask everybody, and I'm going to answer the question. What is the highest selling gaming console known to man? You can comment in the comment section, but I'm about to answer everybody's question. The PS2. And the PS2 was known for RPGs. Japanese RPGs. All types of RPGs. It's the birthplace of Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2. Both of which have never left the PlayStation systems. What I'm trying to say is... The PS2 is the, the, the console that sold the most in all of history. In all of gaming history. Those gamers love exclusives. They not only love those exclusives. They love those RPG exclusives. That they knew were not going to be tampered with by the GameCube. Or Americanized by the Xbox. And we're getting a lot of RPGs. Japanese RPGs, action RPGs, strategy RPGs, turn-based RPGs. We're getting all types of RPGs. Not only this year, but they're going to span through next year as well. So, we're on the PlayStation side. We have the legacy behind us of two. Not one, two. The PS1 and the PS2. Highest selling gaming consoles in the world compared to competitors of that same generation. And you know what that means? That means people want to come back to PlayStation. Who the fuck wants to come back to Xbox? If you want Gears, you got a PC. If you want Fable, you got a PC. You want Ori, you got a PC. You want Cuphead, you got a PC. You want Spite? You got a PC. State of Decay? You got a PC. So we're left with what? Forza 6, Halo 5, Rare Replay, Fruit Ninja Connect, Scream Ride. That's it. That's it. Only 5 games. Out of 11 that I put on this list. And if anybody wants to say, oh, you're being biased, you're being... Prove me fucking wrong. Of 2015 Xbox One exclusives in the comment section below. Prove me wrong. How about you make a fucking accurate picture? But you guys won't because you guys don't even know. You guys don't even fucking know. Now this will not be the only version of this comparison. But it is the first Okay, this is the first. I will be creating and altering this picture throughout the rest of this year. And I can promise you that in 2016 I will have a, 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 a picture similar to this. As, as, as soon as I can get a bulk of reveals, announcements for the games that are coming out in 2016, I will do a similar list. Um, mind you. There are a lot of games on the PS4 side that are missing. Whether I could not fit them on there. Or, you know, I just don't know of them. And I knew of a lot. You know, I, I knew of a lot of games that are coming out this year. But, sadly, not a lot of them fit. And it's funny because I had to make the logos bigger on the Xbox side to take up more space. Because they don't have a lot of exclusives. I had to make the logos on a PlayStation 4 side smaller because they had too many. It's all there, black and white, clear as crystal. So you get nothing. You lose. <laughs> Sidestepping is a great defensive movement. When you, uh, you have an aggressive fighter coming at you, you want to create an angle by stepping to the side.